Well, I was very surprised to have uh, seen this on the Direct TV app, which I uh, did want to just trying to see this on my TV as well, to, just to confirm. But uh, for the Indianapolis area, I did not know that there was an issue going on with this. Now, I knew that. Well, I mean, it was like, I mean, there's like stuff with like Comcast and with local, some local networks here where there was the potential for like, I think Fox, CBS, and might have been like one or two other networks, but this looks like it's a whole different thing here. This says, our contract with Nexar, which owns or control this channel, has expired. While we continue to negotiate to protect you, from unwarranted rate increases, you can still watch much of this programming. And they show you a couple different options. Digital antenna, depending on your location, you can likely watch this channel for free using an over-the-air antenna. And then streaming, ESPN+, Plus, Paramount+, Plus, Hulu, and Peacock. The programming is likely available through this network streaming app or local station website. For assistance, visit tvpromise.com. So, yeah, Fox and uh, Fox 59 and CBS 4 around here are are not uh, not there. I have to actually like hold my talent there. See here, it's on Channel 4, and for oh, sorry, I'm having. Hard time there might have been covering the speaker there for a minute. Also, same thing here, same message here on channel 59. So, yeah, in case anyone's wondering, like, oh, hey, why can't I watch anything? And yeah, that is the reason. Now, I'm going to read here on my tablet. This is on Axios.com. I need to close something off here. Can't try to multitask here. All right, so Axios Indianapolis: Why a direct, why a direct TV blackout can make it hard to watch the Colts game. Are you ready for some football? If you're a direct TV subscriber, maybe not. Blacking out the news. A carriage dispute between DirecTV and Nexar. Here's what I'm reading off of here, by the way. A carriage dispute between DirecTV and Nexar has left subscribers of the satellite TV giant without access to local stations owned by Nexar since July. Why it matters. Nexar owns more than 150 local TV stations across the county, including WTTV4 and WXIN59, the local CBS and Fox affiliates that carry nearly all the Colts games. Plus, when we asked you all earlier this week where you like to watch the games, other than Lucas Oil, Avi, many of you said, oh, damn, I have a freaking Sorry, I have to reread that. When we asked you all earlier this week where you like to watch the games, other than Lucas Oil, Avi, many of you said at home, even if it was just so no one can see you cry. Details. If the dispute isn't settled by Sunday, which now is today, on September 10th, 2023, local DirecTV subscribers won't be able to watch the season opener, which is scheduled to air on Fox. Yes, but several streaming platforms offer alternatives, including Fubo, YouTube, Sling, Hulu, and FL Plus, as any star reports, or go old school. If you can get local channels over the air, you can also install an antenna and pick up the local stations for free. Be smart, there are other options, aka sports bars, just make sure they don't have direct TV or partial the dugout bar and their cheese balls, but some Axios indie readers have their own favorites. 
So there wasn't really much as far as like this goes, but it's really the only thing I could even find about this. Everything else was talking about uh, the Indy 500, which is just, you know, it, it's absolutely freaking BS over this whole situation, but you know, it just is what it is. Um, Hopefully this winds up not being an issue going on for, you know, several weeks at a time or something like that, but we'll see over time what happens. Um, just really unfortunate with, you know, just the way that, that this whole thing is. I don't, I, I don't, I don't really know what, what the heck to say about it. It just feels like it's almost like some sort of scheme to try and, you know, do this streaming push, which, to be honest, like, I mean, I understand about the perks that are there, but, you know, they're, like, come on, we still gotta, like, keep some tradition here. Like, there's still some value with, you know, being able to have cable, being able to have satellite TV, which I have direct TV. And, you know, yeah, I actually personally haven't really dealt with uh, too too many issues as far as blackouts go. I mean, as far as like, you know, like, oh, well, oh, the weather goes bad and then, you know, oh, you're out of service. Actually, even when it has rained, I have very rarely dealt with any issues. It's not the same. DirecTV has been a lot better, um, actually. I remember I still was able to have pretty good reception and everything uh, when I got this back in October 2022. And there was a stretch going on for a good, like, couple months where it was just constantly cloudy. And, you know, I, I still didn't have to worry about too much of anything going on. So, you know, like, this... This whole thing, it, it's, it's just, it's craziness. It's ridiculous. I personally have never been a huge streaming person. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's a good alternative. Like, I think, like, you know, once in a while. Um, I don't see it ever being, like, a centralized platform for me personally. Uh, that's just me, of course. You know, don't get me wrong. I mean, there are some advantages there, obviously. But, um, there's still... I don't know, I still feel this enjoyment, you know, maybe it's just the traditionalist in me, but, um, I, I still always feel there's still that value kind of there. Kind of like no different how I still feel there's value with physical media, like, you know, DVDs and CDs, and especially like DVDs and like disc versions of, of games. Um, hence this is, hence it's why, you know, I, when I made sure I had bought my PS5 to, out of my living room is you can see right there you know and make sure hey at least if I get in the living room that that won't be the disc version but but yeah um wonder what everyone's gonna be thinking of this <laughs> this definitely uh came up as a big surprise to me but yeah <laughs> I, I I'm I'm speechless to be honest you know, and I'm sure there probably some people out there that are so hardcore streaming or whatever. And, you know, it's like, listen, like, I'm not, like, crying about anything here. But at the same time, I still feel like it's, you know, worth... Oh, excuse me. still feel like it's, uh, you know, really worth pointing out. So, I don't know what's going to happen from here. I mean, I do remember there was stuff going on around here, some stuff involving Comcast, but I mean, I'm not sure if, you know, like, Comcast is, like, has anything with, like, Next Star or not. I, I don't know off the top of my head. But, um, the fact that this is even happening, it's, you know, it's, that's craziness. It's absolute craziness.